Hello, welcome back. This is Christy from 52 Hider 3D with the fourth part of the TARDIS tutorial. And today we're going to get right into doing the materials. Uh, you remember last time I put some matte caps on it just to show how it might look when we do have it rendered, but you obviously can't use matte caps as actual renders, they're just a little preview tool. So we need to get started with doing the all the materials. So first thing I think we need to do is we don't if we're not going to do any more modeling, we can apply all the modifiers to all the different parts of the TARDIS and join them all together. So starting at the bottom with the base, we can apply the mirror and the array. And again with the walls apply 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 and with the windows apply apply and with the roof apply probably leave the um the lamp as a separate object but all the others shift click on them and press control j and they will get merged into a separate object separate into one object which we can call TARDIS outside. So there's a lot of geometry there. Um, so let's just check we haven't got any doubles clogging everything up. So select everything, press W and remove doubles. And you see it's removed 240 vertices. Um, I could clear up all these little faces, we don't really need them, but I'm not going to do that now because you'd get extremely bored, so I'll just plow on with the materials and hopefully we won't need to uh, do anything with those. So obviously we want a nice blue to start with, so make sure you're in cycles because internal is horrible. Um, or it is after you've been using cycles for a bit. So we've got a material and we'll call it TARDIS Blue. Let's just make this panel a bit bigger. And if you click use nodes we can leave well actually let's go straight over to the uh, node editor so we can do this material properly. So we probably want a mixed shader because the um, it's actually quite glossy the TARDIS outside if you look at some reference images so we want a glossy shader and stick that in at the bottom like that. You see we're coming up with this colour here. It's not looking very good so far. Um, so we need to change this to a nice blue. something like that and we can turn the roughness up quite a bit on the glossy shader what do we come up with there and I think we can turn down the amount of glossy this that looks like an about all right color so let's we close the preview window it'll stop rendering that we can go over to rendered in the viewport and that's actually looking really good but before we do anything I think we ought to add some lights just so we can get a better feeling of what it's going to look like got that one already if you turn on multiple importance sample it will significantly uh, spe speed up renders I think apparently or make renders less noisy or something anyway turn it on um, 
let's just move those down there and let's see what we've got now yeah that's looking quite nice so we've got the material node nodes here again we might maybe turn up the roughness a little on the diffuse shader Point two. That's looking very nice. Uh, of course, there's a few extra materials that we haven't got. We need a white for the windows. So, call it white window frame. And that's pretty much done already, actually. It's just a, a nice white color. But we need to. Um, make sure all the right parts of the mesh get it so I'll just uh, select all the um, the window frames and I'll see in a minute because you really don't want to watch me selecting all the window frames okay I'm back having selected all the window frames which is a painstaking process and assigned them with this new white window frame color um, let's see how it looks rendered because I haven't actually put it into rendered mode yet. Yeah, that's looking quite nice. I think maybe the TARDIS blue needs a bit of a deeper blue, a bit less of the uh, um, the glossy maybe. Maybe just put 0 0.05 for glossy. Something like that. And maybe a slightly darker blue. Yeah, that's looking quite nice. Of course, the TARDIS kind of does change colour a bit. Um, quite a lot, actually. If you look in two different episodes, they're sometimes fairly different colours. So we've got the window frames, and they're looking quite nice. They might need a bit of, uh, uh, I think they're okay. Um, but we haven't done the actual window panes, so just select, we need to select all those. This is much quicker than doing the frames. So still fairly slow. Now the frames are hard because in no sorry not the frames the the windows are quite hard to do because it's hard to tell do they look into the TARDIS or are they something else or do they reflect or what it's hard to tell so. I think I'm just going to make it so that they reflect what's outside. So we've got windows and we make it a glossy shader. If we go into rendered mode. Um, did they actually get that? Try rendered it going into rendered again. Sometimes the rendered ah that's better. So now they reflect perfectly what's outside, but obviously because we haven't actually got anything outside, they don't reflect anything, they just reflect grey. But that's alright for now. So we've got that done. We haven't got the um the sign in place yet, but uh I don't actually, do I have a sign yet? I think I do have a sign texture somewhere. Um, but so let's just get on with this lamp. Um, obviously the top will be TARDIS blue like everything else. So we just select these top ones and press Control plus. And now we can assign 
TARDIS blue to that. And to these we're gonna need a new one called let's call it light or lamp. And this needs to be an emission colour. Or actually no, let's have it a glass colour. Glass shader, sorry. And then render that. We don't actually seem to have applied it yet. Sometimes it doesn't quite, the renderer doesn't quite update properly. Yeah, that's looking good. So that looks real, like real glass and it's very realistic. Actually, I think we might be able to just, um, if we add a few loop cuts in, quite a lot of loop cuts actually and select every other loop cut maybe and scale it out a bit we can get a better looking finish yeah that looks more like the lamp so now we want to add in a new object Desk cursor to selected and add in maybe another cylinder actually scale it down ridiculously like that okay and now this uh, let's just call it what we call it lamp emitter and call this material lamp emitter as well and change this to emission and change the strength up to 10 or something let's see what it looks like rendered that's looking quite good but let's have a look in the um, ray visibility because It doesn't look all that good because if you see what I mean, transmission. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. But I think we want to turn up the strength right up, maybe 150. Yeah, that's looking better. So let's look at it from camera view and see how it looks. Yeah, that's looking quite good. That's looking quite very good actually. So it's just the police box sign to do, but again, again, I'm out of YouTube upload time. Uh, well, I'm nearly am. You think I've got time? No, I don't think so. So I'll make one more video, and that will be to place the police box sign. Oh, and of course the um the other sign on the door. I think I've got some images somewhere that will do. So I'll grab those and we'll do another video which should be out very soon. See you there.